Wow, look at that. Is this thing gonna focus or what? Ah, there it is. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, just a quick video for you. I've made a channel update in uh, about a week or something. I think it's what it's been, about a week. But I wanted to uh, make a quick video for you guys about the importance of printing your photos. So over the last week, if you've been following me on Instagram, I have been um, uploading some photos, some moodier, some are film shots, some, I've been all over the place. Really inconsistent, which is a big Instagram no-no. I don't care, I do what I want, it's my channel. But I've uh, been uploading a bunch of photos and a couple of my like, and I always like to see what the photo looks like, not just on a tiny iPhone screen, but more importantly on a, on a printed piece of photo paper. Um, and so I'm actually on my way to express photos to drop off a roll of film, which is a different video for a different time coming up. Um, probably when I get the photos back in a couple days. But then I'm also picking up a few photos I sent over last night that are being printed, just four by six. Nothing's crazy. I just want to see what the digital screen looks like and then how it's printed on actual photo paper. So I'm actually going to bring you guys into the store for a quick second as I record. I just, I'm just making a quick video on the importance of printing your photos. I'm sure it's never been done before on YouTube, right? No one ever makes videos about that. Yeah, they do. Alright, so let me get in the store and I will, uh, I'll show you guys the photos I printed. summer finally need to shed the jacket you know um, so prints came out different than I thought they would I mean how they looked on the digital screen looks different that's what I'm saying you got to print your photos that gets us the point of this video but just a couple of them here for you guys I mean this one right here this is of the lake up north but if you guys go on my Instagram it looks a little different this looks it looks like everything's exposed a little bit and saturated oversaturated by a tiny bit this was in a church in Cologne, Germany. I think that one turned out pretty close to what I shot, so not bad there. This was overlooking a bluff up on the uh, Mackinac Bridge area. This one looked way moodier in digital for sure, or on the screen for sure. But it's like they brought everything up. I can see the trees more, which is much darker in my photo. It's interesting how they printed these. Um, the same thing here, like this is Mackinac Bridge. This guy, looks so much more contrasty than what I thought I printed it at. You got my son here with his first horse encounter, or one of his first horse encounters. Um, that one's pretty contrasty and moody, but it's also got like a kind of a tinge to it, like a yellowish tinge that I, did, I didn't expect uh, from the digital version. And then this last one here is of my son. Uh, the same thing there, it just it looks a little different, like it's a little crap. So, these are just four by sixes. I might have uploaded them weird. I'm not blaming the photo place. In fact, I'm not even upset with them. It's just, it's so interesting to see what you do to a digital file versus what it comes out with on photo. And to me, this is so much better than looking at your phone screen, so much more tangible. So I try to print any interesting photos I have and I just hang them on my, on my office wall. Um, just so, you know, you can look at them and stuff. They're pretty cool. So that's, that's all today, guys. Just print your photos and figure out what you input for digital outputs at your little focal shop. Um, because it's not always the same. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Just a quick one today. I appreciate it. And uh, print your photos. See ya.